Today I've brought the cameras down to one of my favourite rivers, the River Don, near the Earth Centre, near Conisbra train station. Today I fished on peg 43, just above the Earth Centre Bridge. All these pegs here on the Earth Centre are round about 11 foot deep and perfect for whip fishing. This section of the river is owned by Rotherham and District and it's day ticket on the bank so it's easy access. I'm here to demonstrate a 10 metre whip, an acolyte 10 metre whip. To use a 10 metre whip to hand the equipment needs to be very special. The 8 metre whip's been a fantastic seller for us. It's a, a piece of kit that's brilliant for fishing at that length. But of course, anglers that put section to the back of them to make them longer, this is never quite right. And the reason is because the whip is too thin. There's not enough power to flick that rig out. When you've got a 10 metre whip, you need strength at the back end, but you still need some flexibility in the full length of the whip to be able to cast a rig. And that's exactly what you've got with the 10 metre whip. You've got more strength, more diameter at the bottom, and this makes the cast much easier. With the 10 metre whip, the top five is telescopic. So it's around about five or six metres of the pole is telescopic. Then the bottom three sections are take apart. This of course allows you to fish at shorter lengths and the sections are strong enough to fish the intermediate sections. The whip comes with a solid carbon top, a flick tip. Attached to this flick tip is a real ingenious piece of equipment. You've got a Dacron connector, rather like you would have on a Dacron connector for elastic on a pole. But what it is, it's on a swivel. So that Dacron connector actually swivels. So you never get a tangle at the top of the pole because every time the line goes over the top, it can swivel. I've not had one single tangle on the flick tip today. A fantastic piece of kit. Now some anglers prefer to use elastic when they're using a whip. So it's a simple case of removing the flick tip from the top section. Once you've removed the top section, the flick tip part itself, you can bush up the next section. So we've provided a PTFE bush to go into that section. So you can run elastic just through that top section. At the base of that is also a bung that goes inside that section. So everything's nice and neat and fits neatly inside the pole. If you want two sections of elastic, maybe a slightly stronger elastic where you're fishing big fish, maybe fishing a pole feeder or something like that, we've also provided a bush that goes into the third section back. So you can have two sections of stronger elastic. It really is your choice how you fish this 10 metre whip. Fishing with a 10 metre whip is not about muscles. It's about technique, being able to use that pole to flick out the rig. It's not your body strength, it's the whip that casts the float. When you buy a whip like this, you would want the whip to flex through the middle sections of the pole. If the whip is too stiff, you cannot cast light floats. Today down on the Don, I fish with just a gram and a half pencil float and being able to flick that out probably 17 meters out from the bank. Now this is because the whip is made absolutely perfectly for this style of fishing. 
Whips are brilliant on rivers when you're collecting large catches of smaller sample fish. But of course, they're also good when you travel to places like Ireland, fishing on the bigger locks where you're, you're fishing more aggressive, swinging fish to hand. Also in this country, we have places like Dam Flas Reservoir and also Tamar. Places like this are perfect for fishing whips to hand. Today I've had a superb day's fishing down here on the river. I bowled it in to start with, with ground bait, but of course you've got to check if you cast the float out to where you want it to run through and slightly down the swim, this is where I bowled in the ground bait. If you bowl too far up in front of yourself, you're running away from it. You need to run onto that ground bait. And this is where a whip outscore sometimes a long tight pole because you can travel the full length of the swim and today the fishing has been outstanding i've caught fish up to probably 12 or 14 ounce skimmers and also pommies or silver bream as they should be called once I'd balled in, I fished with just a gram and a half pencil, flicking this out just above the ground bait, and then also loose feeding casters and emp to keep the fish over that ground bait. Although I fed emp and casters, the hook bait has just been a single bronze maggot, it just impaled on a size 18 hook, and I've hardly lost a single fish because the flick tip cushions every fish that you catch. But what you mustn't do is strike too hard. It's just literally lifting into the fish. The river's been in perfect condition for fishing today. And by just fishing a four hour session, I've accumulated close to 30 pound of fish. Now this is because when you're fishing with a whip and fishing to hand, you can catch much quicker than short lining. It's a brilliant way to accumulate numbers of fish. 